Hi, you're here with Cody and Pete. In today's quick video, we are going to talk about the Bernina stitch plates and what can happen to them if you accidentally drop it, put it in wrong, or like what I just recently did, put set one of my machines on top of one. So if you end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check out our merchant shop below because we've got a number of different t-shirts, mugs, coffee, all kind of stuff with different logos and sewing theme things on it. Great for Christmas ideas. And any of the proceeds, some of the proceeds from those items will go and help support this channel. So let's take a closer look and see what exactly I'm talking about. Okay, so here are some of our Bernina stitch plates. Um, this is just a five and a half millimeter stitch plate. You can tell because it has the little purple marking on it. Um, this one's actually for a nine millimeter seven series. Um, or five series and this is just one for a five and a half millimeter stitch width machine that's a five and a half millimeter stitch width um, both capable of the same thing but for two different types of machines which is why one doesn't have a sticker and one does have a sticker but that aside that's not what this video is about so with our stitch plates we have these little pegs in the back they all have three uh, some may have two actually um, we have three and these little pegs keep the stitch plate in place but also prevents us from needing a screwdriver or anything like that to remove them but what recently happened with me is i had one of my stitch plates sitting on the table upside down because i've got multiple stitch plates because there are depending on your machine you may have a straight stitch plate which is available for all of them uh, you may have a nine millimeter a five and a half millimeter a sorry pete's making tons of noise um but there's different stitch weights for different machines. But what happened is I broke one of my little pegs. So no, I do not need a whole new stitch plate. If you notice, there are little screws holding each little peg on. So these little pegs wear out over time. I've had some that are as old as the machine. The machines have millions and millions of stitches and the machines are, you know, six, seven years old. I've never broken one, but they do break. Um, it could be just from use, it could be because you set something on top of it or dropped it, but no need to worry. One thing about Bernina machines is every little thing's replaceable, or even like the feet and everything, all those little components on those items are replaceable. So what you can do is you can go to your local Bernina dealer or even call them and they can send you this little clip. The screws are also available. They're tiny little things. So all you need to do, or if for instance, it happened to one of your stitch plates that you use often, you most likely will have another stitch plate um, that will fit that machine. And all you can do like here, so if I needed this particular stitch plate, um, I can take one of the little pegs off of, or clips off of, this one and put it on here. And you just take your little red screwdriver which came with, every, which came with every machine, unscrew this little screw, oops, they are tiny, and if they've never been taken off before, might be a little difficult. There we are. So once you can get it off, oops, like I mentioned, it's itty bitty. So you can take this clip, the remainder of the clip off, throw it away, take off one of the other clips and pop it on. And you'll see that there's a little hole, there's a hole where the screw goes and there's a little indention. So the little clip has a little, what we call a little nubbin on it that will help line it up when you screw it on so they always stay in the right place. So they're fairly easy to change. Um, and they're fully replaceable and they're like a dollar maybe. They're super cheap. And for whatever reason you happen to lose a screw, the screws are also replaceable as well. Cause you don't, the stitch plates will last a lifetime unless you really tear them up by doing things you probably shouldn't do and having the needle hit the edge of the stitch plate for whatever reason, usually when we're forcing fabric through and it can strike and hit the opening of the stitch plate where you're sewing. Um, but otherwise, the stitch plates will last a lifetime, really. They're very robust. But the little clips do receive some wear. And of course, if you set a 30-pound machine on top of one, you're going to snap it and break it. But like I said, they're really easy to replace um, or simple to replace. Um, getting the little screw out can be a little challenging. So if your little screwdriver doesn't give you enough leverage, there are plenty of other small um, flathead type screwdrivers out there with a larger base or a head here to give you more leverage to take it off. 
but once you get it off it's super easy just don't lose the little screw but again you can have it replaced and that was really the main purpose of this short video and it being a little bit longer than i originally anticipated um, which is common for me um, but yes, so I just want to let you know that everything is replaceable when it comes to a Bernina. Do not panic. You just need the little part. All right. Well, hopefully this helped. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, happy sewing.